So you're saying a trans man has the brain of a woman? No. I'm saying that a trans man who identifies as a man will tend to have similar brain structure that a cis man would. What? And where did you get that from? Look it up. I, it's okay. literally, I, I'm telling you, I learned oh, I it from my anatomy class. No. My no, 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 no. You learned that from Google, bro. Okay? Stop the cab, bro. You learned that on Google. How with the anatomy class, bro? I Translation. And I, I looked, looked up it up on Google. Before I walked up here because I knew that you would ask. Okay. Um, that's <laughs> not true, but it also doesn't answer the question. So let, let's try to stay focused on one false claim at a time if we can, because we, we might get bogged down. Okay. So you said, you actually started by saying that blocking puberty, which is chemical castration of a child. Oh, just, just one example, yeah. Yeah, is life-saving. It can be. How do you know? Because there are children who have been suicidal that have had these interventions made. What children? How do you, how do you know? And how, how many children have had that done me personally, and then I were still suicidal? Uh, me, personally, I haven't met enough trans children to answer that question. You, okay. But I know you that are the making Bro, if boys so twisted, how are we getting to the point where just because that child, bro, that doesn't even know and sometimes can't even tell between good and bad, and we're giving them the right to decide on what to do with their body. Crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. You're making this statement. You're stating it as a fact in front of all these people. There must be a reason. There must be something that you encountered that, that led you to this rather radical conclusion that to save a child's life, you have to chemically castrate them. Not Lupron, no, no, sir. Okay. No. Well, that is what you just said. The drugs we give to kids for, for puberty blockers, so-called puberty blockers, originally are, are cancer drugs used to treat prostate cancer. They're also used to chemically castrate sex offenders and child rapists. Now we give them to physically healthy kids. You're saying that we no. need to do that or they will die. I so, didn't know anything about uh, those people that those people were, that were actually given to uh, rapists and stuff like that. That's crazy. I never heard of that before. One last time I'm going to ask you. What evidence do you have of that remarkable claim? I don't think I claimed that every child would benefit from that. Well, no, I didn't uh, say you did. And, okay. You, you, well, said, you, puberty know, you, did. Are, you, you um, said puberty blockers are life-saving. What evidence do you have they, for that? I said they can be. Um, so, the evidence you know? is the encounters with patients who have had these uh, procedures done, and it has saved okay. their, right. I don't want to say it saved their lives, but it has made their lives better. I can't confirm whether or not they're alive right this second, but there are children that it has helped. So what do you have to say for the happy trans community who has benefited from these procedures? That's my well, question I guess what for I have you. To say is that your entire question is built on a whole stack of false premises that you that you can't begin to even remotely defend. Yes. So uh, I, it's it is a it's a faulty question from the start. I, I reject your premise. I, I absolutely reject that there are any kids who need to be chemically castrated in order to be happy. Okay, 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 let's... I nah.